Hello friend, this is Vinay and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix fails to enable memory integrity feature in Windows 11 or memory integrity uh, uncompatible driver issue in Windows 11. So let's get started. So lots of users complaining that uh, when they head over to this uh, core isolation setting page of Windows security app, they see this message that reads Me memory integrity is off, your device may be vulnerable. Now if they click on this to turn it on system start looking for incompatible drivers and after that turn it on and give the message that to apply the changes uh, you need to restart your device but the problem is that after a successful restart a memory integrity feature is still turned off so how to fix it and what causing the issue so basically uh, this happens due to the incompatible driver available on your PC and the solution is to uh, either delete it or update the driver to the latest version. In most of the cases, uh, memory integrity section already shows uh, the particular driver that is causing the issue but uh, same is not in our case. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix the same issue. So for that, first of all, uh, you need to launch your default web browser. Now you need to copy paste this uh, link in the address bar. Now this will take you to this uh, Microsoft page. Uh, from where you need to download Autorens for Windows application. Click on this link. And this will start downloading the app. You need to extract the zip file. Once done, you need to open this auto runs folder. Basically, this application will help us in finding a outdated or incompatible driver available on our device. So, to find that out, you need to right click on this application and run as administrator. When USC dialog box appears, click yes to continue. Now here you will find lots of tabs, you need to switch to drivers. Now let the tools scan the drivers on your PC. Wait for a few seconds. The scan is completed so from the list of drivers uh, you need to find the one highlighted in yellow or red color in my case uh, it's just a deleted file so basically there are no incompatible driver in my pc but it could be possible that when you perform a scan you find a particular driver that is outdated or incompatible so once you find the incompatible or outdated driver on your PC, let's say this is the driver that causing the issue, you need to delete it. In case you don't want to delete it, then you can uh, uncheck this box to disable it. And uh, after that, you need to head over to the particular website and download the latest version of uh, that driver. Apart from that, uh, you can also launch a uh, device manager. And here, uh, you need to look for the outdated or incompatible driver. Uh, once you find it, uh, let's say this one, you need to right click, click on this update driver option and follow the instructions or you can uh, disable it using this option or you can uninstall this device and uh, reinstall it so after deleting or updating the particular driver to latest one available if you perform a restart you will notice that this time memory integrity feature is turned on and this fixed the issue 
that's it guys i hope you find this video useful give it a try and uh, if the solution mentioned in this video helps you don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching